Good evening and thank you for joining us on Air TV for English news broadcast live from the headquarters in Asmara at exactly 10.30 p.m. Today is Sunday, 12th of March, 2023. First, the top source. National Law Week to be conducted. Voluntary blood donation. Iran and Saudi Arabia agree to restore relations. Brazil's Amazon deforestation again hits record high for February. The Minister of Justice announced that the National Law Week will be organized from 13 to 18th March, indicating that it's historical reality that the Eritrean people understand about its identity and citizenship rights and obligation beyond documents and regulations. Minister Fozia Hashem, Minister of Justice, said that the objective of the Law Week is to raise the awareness of the public and ensure the sustainability and continuity of identifying values, laws, and orders of the Eritrean public, as well as ensuring active and comprehensive participation of every citizen. Pointing out that respect for the abiding by the law is cultural heritage that has been inherited and transferred from generation to generation in the Eritrean policy, Minister Fozia said that the effort has been undergoing ever since the armed struggle for independence to ensure the proper understanding and making such precious heritage state of the art and the compliance to the current situation. Minister Fozia further noted that the law week that will be conducted from 13th to 18th March will conclude will include various programs, including general knowledge competition, programs by the national media outlet, environmental sanitation activities, as well as virtual programs focusing on diaspora nationals and presentation of research papers. The National Association of Taxi Owners voluntarily conducted 80 units of blood on 11 March with a view to enrich blood supply of the National Blood Transfusion Service. The Secretary of the Association, Mr. Ritwarek Haile, said that the objective of the voluntary blood donation was to save lives with their renewable blood and express satisfaction for participating in the effort to enrich blood supply of health facilities. Commending for the initiative, the Taxi Owners Association took Nurse Sennite Wilde Johannes, advisor at the National Blood Transfusion Service, called on others to follow the novel example of the association. You are watching Air TV. We'll be back with international news. Stay tuned. Iran and Saudi Arabia have agreed to re-establish diplomatic relations and reopen their embassies within two months. This is according to Iranian and Saudi state media. The agreement was reached on Friday during talks in Beijing. Iranian state media posted images and videos of Al-Sham Khani, Secretary of the Supreme National Security Council of Iran, with Saudi National Security Advisor Mossad bin Mohammed al aywan and Wang Yi, China's most senior diplomat. Iranian state television reported that after implementing the decision, the foreign ministers of both nations will meet to prepare for an exchange of ambassadors. In the footage aired by Iranian media, Wang offered wholehearted congratulations on the two countries' wisdom. The Saudi press agency confirmed the agreement when it also published the joint statement from Saudi Arabia and Iran, which said the two countries had agreed to respect state sovereignty and not interfere in each other's internal affairs. The statement also said Riyadh and Tehran had agreed to activate the security cooperation agreement signed in 2001. The statement said that Riyadh, Tehran and Beijing expressed their keenness to exert all effort towards enhancing regional and international peace and security.
Deforestation in Brazil's portion of the Amazon rainforest hit a new record high in February. New data has shown as President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva's administration works to the end of years of widespread devastation. Satellite monitoring detected 322 square kilometers of forest cover destroyed in the Brazilian Amazon last year last month, an increase of 62% from the previous record in February 2022. This is according to data from the National Space Agency released on Friday. In the Querado, a biodiverse tropical savanna to the south of the Amazon, satellite identified 558 square kilometers of destruction. That's up to 99% from February 2022 and nearly double the previous record of 283 square kilometer of February 2020. The data showed the spike in destruction has un underscored the difficulties that Brazil's new president, known as Lula, faces in addressing the rampant deforestation that flourished under his predecessor, Jair Bolsonaro. The, the far-right former army captain who lost a close election runoff to Lula in October of last year. Cut environmental enforcement in the Amazon, which environmental and indigenous groups have blamed for an increase in illegal mining and violence. And now let's take a look at the top stars again. National Law Week to be conducted. Voluntary blood donation. Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed to restore relations. Brazil's Amazon deforestation again hits record high for February. It was me, Salim Brahano, with the news for tonight. Thank you for being with us. Have a good night.